Good morning, everybody. I want to show you this fun fold card. I think it's called a cube card or a pop-up cube card. I'm not sure. But this first one I made, I found the directions on Dan Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. And I thought the only thing I changed was I put a cupcake in it and some designer series paper that I had that I thought was kind of cute, you know, with the little leaves reminded me of grass but then I wanted to make one um for myself you know using the directions but make it my own it's good to case and copy everything but then try to add your own spin to it so my next one that I did I added um some paper that is current and it's tasteful touches and it's got all this pretty designer series paper that looks like wood or tile and then I used also besides the way to goat stamp set and dies or just stamp set I'm sorry this one just is a stamp set the way to goat but the hey chick hey birthday chick sorry about that it has the dies in it and I used um the dies for the happy birthday and I just thought it was cute because I like that where it says, I got you a cake, but I ate it. And then that little chick in there. So today I'm going to show you how to make this one. And I did um, pre-color all of the pieces that I need for it just to make it go quicker. And I'll put it right here. I'm going to show you. And it folds up like this. For this one, you will need a 6x6 six six envelope. You can make your own, or I'm sure you can find them. I found mine at Hollow, so I'll just put this right here. And what you're going to need, I will do a PDF, and if you want the PDF, just leave me a comment on my blog. Uh, sign up for my YouTube channel, leave a comment there, and I'll send you um, the dimensions. But we're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, which we're going to cut down to... 11 and a half by 12. So for this one, I'm going to use some different colors. So these are current. These are from the hand pinned DSP. And then this is one of the new end colors, which is um, soft succulent. I think it's such a pretty color. But let's put these to the side. So the first one you're going to need, you're going to need this 12 by 12, but you're going to cut it down to 12 by 11 and a half. Then you're going to need 10 2 and a half by 2 and a half pieces of DSP. These little pieces right here. And then, um, oops. You're going to need two of the 2 and a half by 5 and 1 fourth pieces of DSP, which goes right down in there. And then you're going to need six of the two and a quarter by two and a quarter shimmer paint pieces, shimmer white um, cardstock. And that's what I like to color on because it gives you a little bit of shimmer, but also um, your blends glide really well on it. So, and then you're going to need these little pieces, and this is for the inside so that you can put. A little sentiment in there if you had room up here you could always put it up the top and I'll probably make one of those sometime but these go on the inside so that your sentiment will move back and forth and then you'll need a piece underneath something that's a little bit or a piece that goes over top so it's going to need to be a little bit bigger than this piece so these pieces are two Two inches long scored in the middle at one inch and then so this will need to be like two and an eighth or two and a fourth you know however big you want to make it and however big your sentiment's going to be but you do want it to be bigger than a piece it's going to cover right. so let's put those there and let me show you how to get started so let's put these pieces up here we're going to open the arm I'm going to move this guy out of the way. I'll put him over there. Because the arm, you know, it opens up and it's quite long. So we need some room. Just get down my little goats. All right. So you want to put this in and you want to take a half inch off. 
And honestly, if you're just taking off a half inch or an inch, it's easier just to do it on this side of the paper trimmer because you can see exactly where it lines up the top and at the bottom, you know, but if you feel more comfortable doing it the other way, you know, you can look down here and you can see it's at 11 and a half. So you just want to cut that half inch off and you want to do your scoring. So we're going to score at two and three fourth, five and a half, eight and a quarter and 11. So make sure bring, always bring your cutting blade down so that you don't accidentally cut your paper. There's nothing worse. So two and three fourths. And we're going to score five and a half, eight and a quarter, and eleven. Then turn your paper 90 degrees so that your lines are facing this way. And what you want to do is you want to cut at two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. And then five and a half. Have a little piece left over you can just keep those pieces and do something with them later so now we can get rid of the paper trimmer if you need a paper trimmer stamping up i love theirs the only thing i wish they would have carried over was where to put your blades in the back to hold them but besides that it's a wonderful trimmer so let's get our bone folder let's do some folding so you just want to fold and crease these pieces so that they're nice and crisp for you. Last one. And then to make your cube, you want to use your tear and tape. And if you just put it on the edge, like this, and then tear. Um, what did I do with my? There it is. So we're, if you burnish it a little bit, it helps it helps it release that protective layer, and then you can just peel it off with your um, pick tool. Use it a lot. So then, if you do it like this, then you can just lay it flat, and you can get it even. So when you're ready to put this together, you want your seam to be in the front right there. So we're just going to set that over there until we're ready for it. And we're going to fold our other two pieces, our other two cubes. So just give them a good burnish. And again, just lay it like flat and then just put your and tape on that little half inch at the end. Give it a little burnish. Use your pick tool to pick that off. Go underneath it. There we go. Pick it off. And then just pull this towards you and that way it lines up really nicely that way. There. Let's do our last one. I love tearing tape. That way you don't have to take time to reach for your scissors and cut it off. You can just tear it. Burnish it a little bit, pull that off, and then just 
If you bring this straight down, then it's going to be straight. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. So let's put this up. Those out of the way. So then we're going to use our liquid glue for this next part. So remember, here's your seam. It's going to be in the front. Fold this flat. And then you'll look for your seams and you want them to the back. So when I did mine before, I um, put my seam to the front and I don't like that. When you pull it down, you don't want, so this is going to come down and set like this. You want your seam to be down at the bottom and that way you can just cover it with um, paper on the inside if you want to. Like it even, if you did it, if you do it like this, I'm sorry. If you do it like this, then it'll be to the back and it's not as obvious. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the glue on this back panel, just the one panel right here. Make sure it doesn't go above the score line. And then line it up right at the crease, or right at the fold, I should say. And then just hold it for a second so that it adheres really nicely. So then look for your seam. Right there's your seam. Turn it over and put your liquid glue on the back of it. This is going to get a lot of wear, you know, people opening it and closing it. So take your time, put your glue on it so that it holds for you. Just slide it right up next to the other one so that all of your score lines are lined up. So the same at the top and the bottom. And that's another good thing about the liquid glue. It gives you a minute to move your panels around if you need to. Right there for a minute. Okay. So then you can see that your, this is what it's gonna look like. Isn't that neat? And then it just folds up and it'll go right back in the box. But I just think that's so cool. So then you can just start adding your panels. Just figure out where you want them. Oh, I love this guy. Look at that face. And then that one's so cute. Way to goat. Happy birthday, you old goat. You know, like that. I thought that was cute. So, I just put liquid glue on the back. And here's that pretty paper, that hand pinned. I just think it's so pretty. The colors are just beautiful. And then you just want to can lay this down so that way you can see where your score lines are. Make sure that you have it all lined up. So then I'm bringing a sample here. I'll put that guy up there at the top, the one that's giving it the side eye. It's like they call me an old goat. I think he's so cute. Just add him up here. So then I got you a cake, but I ate it. Yeah, I should have put that one up there, but that's okay. We'll just put it right here on this one. You know, wherever you put the panels, it's still going to be cute. You know, you can move them around, put them wherever you like. It's just, it's such a cute card. Whoever's going to get it, they don't know where those panels are supposed to be. Just wherever you like them to be. That's my biggest problem. I take so much time figuring out where I want each piece. Because I want to be 
to be perfect for whoever gets it. So let's put Way to Goat up here. Dancing goat right here. So cute, right? So I just wanted to show you the pieces that I cut. These are what they look like, you know. And then I thought about using more of the chicks, and I'll probably do just a box that is of the chicks, which I think would be really cute. And in the um, Hey Birthday Chick, it has a little fence. Be really cute to put on here, you know, like I did on the other one if you wanted to. You could change the fence color. You could make it white, like a little white picket fence. You know, it's up to you, whatever you like it to be. I want your fence to be blue. It would be pretty in purple, wouldn't it, to match this paper, which is the new fresh freesia. So then this just goes right down in here. I think it just adds a little bit to the box, a little bit of interest, you know, instead of looking at just plain panels. And you don't have to put them over here, but you can if you want to, you know, because when someone's looking at it, they're looking more towards the back. You could even put white panels on the back if you wanted to, to dress it up even more. So that you could write or add another sentiment on the back. So you just want to put this straight down. Line it up so that it's the same. So the toughest part of this card, I think, is trying to get that sentiment right there in the center. So what you want to do you want to take these pieces, and I've put tear and tape, folded them in half, and put tear and tape on them. So then, what you want to do is you have to reach inside. I hope you can see this. Reach inside and press that down. Like. Oh, nope. You know what? I lied. You have to put glue on one side. <laughs> Where is my brain this morning? Hasn't fully woken up from its coffee. Okay, so the glue side is what you want to put down because it gives you a minute to adjust it. And then the tear and tape side is what your sentiment's going to be attached to. So if you can see that, you line it right up to the inside. And you take your other one, peel it first because you don't want to have to try to be sticking your pick tool inside there to get the um, tape off. So add some glue to that and come in on the other side and line it up to the other one. The hardest part is getting your fingers off of that tape and then press that down like that. So hopefully you can see that like that. Press it right up to the fold and try to get them as straight as you can. So if you look in there, it looks pretty good. You know, it'll hold your sentiment. So then what you want to do is you want to come back in with your sentiment and just go over top of that so that it sticks to it. Oops, there we go. Okay, you want to get it straight. So what you want to do, you can look down in here, is you want to make sure that it covers so, you stick it to it, and then you just press it flat either way so that you can get it attached to 
that piece that's inside. So then what you want to do is you want to come in with a couple of extra. That's why I had the extras. The extra four pieces. And you want to come in and you want to cover up the mechanics of the card. Because you want it to be like magic. When somebody looks at it, you don't want them to see, you know, the pieces of what it takes. So you just slide this in and cover the back piece of that folded piece of cardstock so that then when you open it, you don't see as much of that, right? So you put those pieces in. Make sure you get enough glue. So then I like to put one on the bottom because that's where your where your eyes see as well. We'll put it on the other side. Coming in again and covering up the mechanics of the back of that. So what you want to do, if you can see that, let me have a second to slide your paper around. So then it covers that up inside. And then let's put the last one, last piece in the bottom. And I like to use these papers that don't have like a, a pattern that has to be um, put together a certain way because it gives you more freedom when you're putting your box together. You know, once you have made a couple of them and you figure out how it all works together, then, you know, go crazy and add paper in that has lines and stuff you have to add up, you know, make it, or not line, to line them up, you know. But your first one, you know, have fun, play with them, enjoy it. That's what card making is all about. It's about making something and saying, I made that. It's so cool. But yeah, I love this. So I will have this on my blog and I'll have the, I'll give you the directions. Just leave me a comment and let me know you would like them. So hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.